Good afternoon, everyone. I'm glad you are joining us today. So today is day 40 of our quarantine, I guess. Maybe a day here and there. Hope you all are doing well. Today, Anayat and I are here again to help you to spend one hour of your day with us. And hopefully with the little movements and with the music and the little devotion at the end, we all can feel fulfilled a little bit more because we are just here. <laughs> um, let's get started. So let's get those cushions out of the way, go side to side, find the sit bones, go forward and back. Now, cross your legs at the shin, middle of the shin, flex your feet, make a cut with your hands, press down, bring your shoulder blades together, and press down and really lengthen your spine. We're going to work on our back and uh, releasing the back today, so get ready for that. It's going to be fun. Press down and lengthen upward. Again, think of that rope that is on your spine. Pull it down and up. Really keep that length. And bring the hands on your thighs. Connect the index finger and the thumbs. If you like to take your glasses off, if you're wearing one, take it off now so we have nothing on our face. And um, you can gaze at one point or if you don't want to receive anything, at least for five, 10 minutes, close your eyes and go inward and see what you have brought with yourself today. Try not to judge it, just be aware of it. Are you breathing too fast? Is that too slow? Is that deep? Is that shallow? Just be aware of it. And as you are doing that, try to soften all facial muscles. Although your body is really engaged and you are tall, you still want to release and let go of all the tension. Now we're going to do Ujjayi breath two. So we're going to empty the lungs, draw the navel into the spine, pushing all the sailor out. And then we inhale through the nostrils, take it to the back of the throat, bring it down to the abdomen, bring it to your diaphragm and to the chest. Again, some of you are new here. Never take the breath to your head. Always keep it below your collarbone because you're going to get dizzy if you take it to your head. And if you don't have any heart issues, do a pause after your inhalation and then exhale and release. Also, make sure that you have contacted your physician, you have consulted with them about doing any kind of exercises, and of course this one. Now we're going to concentrate on the breath, deep breath in, deep breath out. I'm going to guide you one more time, and then uh, Enayat is going to start playing. So empty the lungs, take the breath in through the nostrils, back of the throat, abdomen, diaphragm, 
and to the chest. You may feel your chest is puffed up like a dove. Hold and then exhale, release through the nostrils if you can. Do not clinch the teeth against each other. Lips are barely touching. Eyelids are barely touching. Everything is soft and relaxed. And there, thank you. You can stop. <laughs> for the practice for today. Thank you very much for coming. Gently open your eyes. Inhale up. Exhale down. Wasn't that beautiful? I love it. Hope you do too. Bring the chin to the chest, take it to the side, and take it to the left, and you to the right. Half circle. Half 
and come back to the center, pick it back. Back, keep the back of the neck long. For those of you who are just joining us, hello. Welcome. If you feel too much a stretch in front of your neck, open your mouth up and down, not sideways. Now let's take it to the right and to the left, which is hard to talk when your head is in that position. Take it here. Add the breath to every movement. Breath is life. And we need lots of oxygen in our body to nourish our muscles and joints and brain and everything. All right, now shrug your shoulders, lift, take it back, bring it down and forward. Nice. Three, two, and one. Let's reverse it. So today almost everybody can join us because we're going to do nice, gentle, exercises, asanas, poses for our back. Breathe in, breathe out. Now let's take it to the side, gentle twist here. And let's get down and we're gonna do the rest of the stretches on the mat. Let me put if you want to put one blanket under your head and neck, you can do that. If you're okay with your head being down, you can just uh, put it on the ground. So let's start by doing gentle pelvic tip. Draw the navel into the spine. Lift up the hip bones towards your ribs. And now release it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's do it three more times. And one more. All right. Now slowly drag your heel on the ground. Stretch the leg. Flex your foot. Spread the toes really wide. I guess this is good. Take a deep breath in. On the exhalation, bring it back in. Keep the hips even, navel into the spine, extend the right leg. On the exhalation, bring it back in. One more. What time do we have? Bring it in. Now turn the knee to the right, drag the right side of your foot on the mat, and now bring the heel in. Open, expand, bring the heel in. Open, drag the foot, bring it in. Last two. Now, bring the knee towards your other leg and go 
on the instep of your foot and bring it back in. That was five, expand, four, keep the abdomen in, engage, three, two, and one. Now do the same thing with the other leg. So feet are hip feet apart, open up, drag the outer edge of your foot, bring it in, drag, bring it in, three, four, and five. Are you doing it? Now bring the knee in, expand, bring it in. Make it to the side. Whoever is doing is doing a great job because I know that's the best that we can do. And last one. Bring it. This time, extend your right leg. Bring it in, draw the navel into the spine, grab the back of your thigh or grab below the knee on your shin and clasp your hands here and gently extend your other leg, flex both feet. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Now slowly bend the knee, bring this leg down, extend the right leg. Again, make sure this hip is not coming up. Keep it there, keep both sides of the torso even as you bring this leg up, grab behind your leg, your hamstring muscles, or grab the shins. Keep the back of the neck long. Flex both feet. Push the heel out. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. Last one. Bring the back leg in. Bring this leg. Now extend the right leg again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring it in. So we are stretching the hamstring a little bit and stretching the lower back a little bit. Gently expand. Bring the left leg in. Bring it in, switch. Let's do it two more times on each side. And last one. Bring both knees to the chest. Gently roll side to side. Very nice, gentle movement. I thought since we are Sitting a lot and maybe walking a lot, it's good to do a little bit of the back exercise. Now, we're going to extend the right leg and we're going to take our right arm above the head, palm facing up. Take a deep breath in And on your exhale, I'm going to show it on my left side so you can see. 
So as we are bringing the arm down and bringing the knee in, you're going to repeat it two more times. Reach and lengthen and really take your heel to the other side. Bring it in. You feel the opening of the chest. One more. You exhale as you bring it in. Let's do the other side. So extend the leg. Extend your right arm. Or yours is going to be left right now. And bring it back in. If you are very flexible, extend both legs. But if you are not, then one knee. Add the breath, don't forget. Bring it in. Now, we're going to extend the right leg. Take it off of the mat. And now put your left leg on top. Have the hips even. Don't let it come up. So make it really flat in here as much as you can, even in here. And then extend your right arm and extend your left arm now. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. And feel the stretch on that half moon position that you are on your side. Breathe into it. Two more breaths. And one more. Now slowly bring the legs to the middle, arms to the side, and bring it down. Now take your left leg out of your mat. Put your right ankle on top of the, your left ankle on top of the right. And now reach your arm and create that half moon on the other side. Breathe in and out. Check your hips, make sure they're even. Chest is open. One more breath. And now let's come back to the center and bring the legs back in. Now take the arms, both of them, above the head, palms facing up. Bring your shoulders down, flex the feet, have the feet hip feet apart. Now draw the navel into the spine, bend your knees, do a gentle pelvic tilt first, and then expand the leg. Reach the arms and the legs away from each other. Breathe in. Breathe out. Reach a little bit more, inch by inch. Quarter of an inch by an inch. However you can. Breathe between all the ribs. Create space. This time create space between the hips and the ribs. Lower ribs. And then point your toes. And flex the feet. Point the feet. Flex the feet, one more. Now bend your knees, slowly take the arms, bring the knees to your chest, 
drag the shins, gently roll side to side. Now put the feet down, extend the arms to the side, take a deep breath, keep the feet down and gently take it to the side. Gaze at your fingertips on the left. Breathe. One more breath. Last one here. And come back to the center. Let's take it to the other side. Bring the knees to the left. Gaze at your fingertips on the right. Two more breaths. Keep both shoulder blades on the mat if you can. And one more. Now gently bring your knees to the chest and roll side to side. Now put the feet down. You're gonna put a pearl under our spine and you're gonna lift the pearl one vertebrae up at a time. One pearl up at a time. Don't let the knee go to the side. Use, engage and use your inner thighs. And don't turn the head to any direction. Then your spine is up on the, off the mat. So navel into the spine. Draw, lift one vertebrae at a time. And bring it down. Now let's roll our upper arm out, grab the side of the mat, press the feet down, and let's lift it up a little higher. Breathe, engage your quad, I mean, buttocks, engage your hamstrings, the back of your thighs, and slowly come down. Breathing again. Each time you may go a little bit higher. For those of you who want to do shoulder sand, this is prerequisite for that. So lubricate your spine. This time, bring the heel a little bit closer and lift it up. Hold it in here. If you want to open your chest a little bit at the same time, slowly bring your arms under and clasp your fingers. So here you're stretching your hip flexors. your torso, your chest, your arms, and slowly release the arms and come down one vertebrae at a time. Extend the legs and arms away from each other. Reach, clasp the fingers and push the arms out and legs away from each other. Breathing, lengthen. One more breath. Now slowly bring the leg in, put your right ankle on top of the left and draw the leg toward yourself. Grab the back of your uh, leg, hamstring, or grab the shins. And then if you cannot reach it, you can take a few blankets and put it under your torso so that way you're already up a little. Flex both feet, point and flex the feet. And now circle it around, rotate. 
and reverse it always feels good gently roll side to side you're going to come back to this pose again i love this they call it figure four for threading the needle so many names for it and now bring it down bring the other leg on top Grab the back of the leg, driving rod, and roll side to side. What time we have? Now bring the legs down. So we're gonna imagine there are lots of broken glasses under our feet right now and then we're going to engage our abdomen engage all abdominal muscles bring it below your navel and draw it in and now barely touch so it's just your toes touching at this time do you see how much you're feeling it in here but don't take it to your back and don't arch the back so release you're going to draw the navel in feel those broken glasses there and feet lift up the feet just half an inch and now bring it down do you see how much you're working your abdomen with the simple exercise so it's not that a lot of crunches we have to do we can just do a little bit mindful engagement of abdomen and muscles and really work them so with that in mind we're going to draw the navel again into the spine we're going to lift up the right leg knee on top of the hip bringing the left leg on top bringing the right leg down bringing the left leg down and releasing it so you can see when you release you really have to let go and engage because you cannot just hold it that much tighter you're going to get to that level later now lift up the left leg half the knee lift up the right leg left leg comes down right leg comes down release breathe in i'm feeling it hope you are right left right left release engage exhale empty lift the left leg right leg left leg right leg bring it down let's do it two more times with our own rhythm of breathing so you do it on your own i'm going to do it on my own it's like we are doing it together all right I can't wait to get back to the class. All right. Now let's just move a little bit. Okay. Bring all the abdominal muscles in here. Bring the arms by your side, palms facing up. So we don't use our hands feel those broken glasses again you can stay here and imagine that the floor is there or you can bring it down and put your feet on top of those broken glasses just barely touching you don't want to injure yourself draw the abdomen in inhale inhale exhale 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 inhale inhale exhale exhale let's do two more you feel it bring the knees in well deserved rest gently roll side to side now let's roll to our side now have the knees perpendicular to your torso and extend your arms you can have your arm like this or 
you can have a blanket in here. I feel more comfortable with my hand here. Now, let's flex the foot, use this hand, make a cup, use it um, as a support so your torso, your shoulder doesn't move back. Now, extend your right leg, flex the foot, breathe in, so it's not high, it's just parallel to the ground. And now bring it to your knee. Bring, it your, bring the knee to your chest. Breathe it in here. Exhale, extend. And bring it in. Exhale. Now push, breathe in. Breathe out. Two more times. One more. This time, take the leg out. Bring the toes downward a little so you feel all these muscles working. Flex the foot. Push the heel out, and now take it a little bit back, but press your tailbone forward. Take it a little bit back, not too high. Feel the psoas muscle stretching, and even transverse stretching. Toe is pointing gently downward. Heel is a little higher. You should feel it in here, too. Breathe in, and now gently bring it in, hug your shin, and put it down. Take a break. One more breath. And now look downward and slowly come up. You're going to do it on the other side. So then the knee, make it come. I don't see myself in here. Okay. Now, do you see me? All right. Now. Bring the knee to the chest, extend. Bring the knee to the chest, extend. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. One more. Bring it in and exhale. Now have the toes pointing downward, heel a little bit back, and take it gently back. One more breath. Feel the stretch. The hips level and gently bring it in. Now let's do this one and then we're going to go back to the other side and do it on the other side too. I feel little bit more open in here when I do this exercise. Now, bend your knee, take your hand on your ankle. If this is too much for you, grab 
here now. Let me show you that this part so you can see. Because around your ankle. And you take it back. So this is option. So here you're stretching the top of your leg quadriceps a little bit more. Now flex your foot. And if you want to feel a little bit more on your shoulder and chest area, bring your shoulder blades together and press your foot into your hand. Flex the foot. Breathe in and out. One more time. And release it. Let's roll to the other side. You can just turn the other way. I don't, you don't have to worry about having your back against me. So let's do this one on both legs. Breathe in and out. Time is going too fast. One more breath. And release. You stay there. And just turn to your front. Let's just stretch the front side of the body now. You stretch the back. With this one, you don't need glasses. So Roll side to side, extend your right leg, extend your left leg. Bring the head down. Put your hands under your shoulders. Breathe in, lift up the forehead, nose, chin, shoulder blades come up. Shoulder blades get closer to each other and go down. So I want you to press down, press your forearm down, and lift up. If this is too much, bring the arms a little bit forward. Shoulders away from the ears. Lengthen the front. And slowly go down. You press your Keep bones down, drawing the navel in, taking the shoulders away from the ears, bringing the shoulder blades towards each other, and you go. You're pressing and using your arms. Pay attention, remember this. Because now we're going to do one. We tap using our arms. So, barely touch the ground. Breathe in. Now lift up. See how much you can come up. If you come up the same amount, great, because you are using your back muscles. And five. Slowly go down, turn the head to one direction. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come back to the center. Let's do five more. So hands are off the ground. Five, shoulder blades together, abdomen in, last two, and last one. Turn the head to the other side, stretch your neck. Now 
come back to the center, we're going to do upward facing dog. So bring your um, thumbs to the bottom of your ribs. Engage your shoulder blades. Really bring them towards each other. So that $100 bill that I put it there stays there. Otherwise, I'm going to take it. Extend the right leg. Extend the left leg. Take your shoulders away from the ears. Press, press, and engage and lift. Extend. Don't scrunch your lower back. Lift up. You may not come all the way up. You may want to watch and just give it a try whenever you are ready. So elbows in. Breathe in. Lengthen. Lengthen. Shoulders down. Lift. Breathe in and out. Lengthen, lift, press down, take the shoulders back. And gently go down. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in. Lift up. Lengthen, lift, press your chest forward. And now push back into child pose. Lengthen and give your back a break, a stretch it. Or you can go into downward facing dog. Atamukashavanasana. So spread those fingers really wide. Press the index finger and thumbs down. Curl your toes. Push the floor away without moving your hands. And then have the feet, keep it apart. Gently press back. The side of your feet are parallel to the side of your mat. So heels are not in. Heels are a little bit out. Now press and lengthen. Draw the navel into the spine. Lift your tailbone upward. Sit forward outward. Upward legs are engaged. Feel the quadriceps, tighten them, press back. And if you're in the child's pose, that's wonderful. Now bend your right knee. Bend your left knee. Now go on top of both balls of the feet and the toes and bring it down. Let's all go into child pose. Now, if you have problem going to child pose, have your knees widened and then push back, bring the tailbone down. And then from here, you can make a fist with your hands, put the forehead on top. Or if you have a block blanket, put it under your forehead. And now bring the arms by your side, palms facing back. Breathe in and out. Okay, we're going to lose that. If your ankles are tight, you can put blanket, roll a towel, put it under. One more breath. Now slowly come up. All right, let's do one more exercise for the back. We're going to go on our hands and knees. We're going to work the erector spinae and the balance. So first drag your abdomen down. See how arch you can really stretch your back in here. And now draw it in. Keep the abdomen in. And I'm going to put the hot tea, Persian hot tea on your back. Don't burn yourself with it. Engage the abdomen. 
Extend the right arm and now rotate. Now extend the left leg. Palm is facing the opposite wall. Keep the abdomen in. And bring it down. Navel in, engage, lengthen the other side. You can even flex your foot and push the heel to the opposite side. Separate, separate every joint from the lower side of your body to the front. Now continue with this as I'm going to show uh, modification for this. So you can come here, you can have your forehead down if you wish, extend the right arm and the left leg. Bring it down. So straighten the leg as much as you can. This is the only pose that you can even say hyperextend your leg, knee. Next, lift up. Breathe in and out. Bring it down. So you continue with whatever you like. I'm going to do four more in here. Lengthen. Last one. You can do this seated on the chair. Also, push back into child pose. And slowly come up and let's get back on our back. Bring the arms to the side, palms facing up. Bring the knee to the chest or you can have your feet down on the mat. Take it side to side. Just going to do a little twist before going down on the, for the relaxation. So keep the knees on top of your hips, flex your feet, keep both shoulder blades down. If you have a problem with your back, keep the sacrum down. Don't take it more than what you can. Come back, take it to the other side. Let's do it two more times. This time you may want to bring the knees a little bit closer to your armpit. My glasses. Come back up. Take it to the other side. Bring the knees to the chest. Gently roll side to side. Now wiggle your fingers and toes one more time. Extend the arms above the head. Stretch as much as you can. And now have the feet mat width apart. Flex the feet. Bring the arms to your side. Palms facing up. You can grab the side of your mat. Bring the shoulder blades in. And really open up your chest and have your hands on the mat. 
about 45 degrees away from your body. So 45 degree, what that is, is as long as we have our armpit breathing, those lymph nodes here, we want them to breathe. Palms facing up and release and let go. Let everything just melt down to the ground. If you want to get your blanket for your head, if you are comfortable, do it. Take your glasses off. Set up. Do a pelvic tilt if you feel. If your back hurts, bend your knees. Take the feet to the side of your mat. Always do that. Or just extend the legs. We have a stretch the hamstring. A little bit in downward facing dog. You don't have time to use the straps. But we gotta do what we gotta do. At least we did something. So let go and release. Let's relax our forehead. Let go of those tiny lines between your eyebrows. Relax the muscle around the eye. Relax the cheeks, relax the joints. Now pay attention that your eyelids are not squeezing against each other, they're barely touching, they're not touching. The same with your lips and upper and lower. Move your tongue away from the roof or back of your feet. Let it go all the way to the back of the throat. Now let's just get the lips moving, the corner of your lips moving a little bit upward. So you have a beautiful smile on your gorgeous face. Let's take the relaxation to the back of the head. Relax the tiny stones. Relax the neck muscles. Relax the shoulders. Biceps, triceps, forearms. Your arms, maybe they're extremely heavy right now, or maybe you don't feel them at all. Let it be. Your fingers are curled upward. Your pinky is a little bit higher than your thumbs. Now bring the relaxation to your upper back, back of the arms. Bring it to the middle of the back. And to your lower back. Let's take a deep breath in. And exhale. Now, relax the buttocks. Relax the hamstrings, back of the thighs. Relax the calves.
Now bring the relaxation to your chest. Slowly with your eyes closed, gaze down at your wonderful, kind, gentle heart. Breathe into it. Now bring the relaxation to your diaphragm. Feel the ribs moving away from each other and on the exhalation getting closer to each other. Breathe into the abdomen. Feel that it's pushing upward. Really feel it up as much as you can. And exhale. Now relax the top of your thighs, quadriceps. Relax the shins. Relax the top of your feet and soles of your feet. Now let's take another deep breath in through the nostrils to the back of the throat. Bring it to the abdomen, fill it up to the diaphragm, to the chest, below the collarbone, and to the nostrils. Let it go of the toes. Soles of the feet, top of the feet. Everything is really, really relaxed. You have no control over anything, or you don't even want to have control. You want to let go. We know that our body is building new cells all the time. So the more we relax, the more new cells get. So let's allow the body to work on that. Count your breath to distract whatever is in your head. Because when you are counting, there is no way you can think of other things. Count upward to 10, 9, and backward to 0. Let's take a few breaths in here, continue. I'm not going to talk anymore. And do the relaxation 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening. That is the best thing that we can do for ourselves to help our body get rejuvenated. You can continue with this, or you can gently move your toes, your fingers, and your hands. Bring the arms above the head, clasp the fingers, stretch the arms and the legs away from each other. Open your mouth wide, make a yawn with the back of the throat. And exhale. Bring the knees to the chest one by one, all together if you wish. Gently, very gently, roll side to side. Now you can roll to your right side 
and gently lift yourself up while you're looking down. Or you can cross the ankles, grab behind the thighs, go up and down a few times. And then come up into tall seated position. I'm going to show you how to come out from this side. So press down and slowly gaze down and come out. Have your blanket or bolster handy. Now let's breathe in, breathe out. Inhale up, exhale down, lift up, gently take it to the side, and nice rotation in here. Only sweet spirit, breathe in, take it to the other side, come back to the center. Let's do three fire breaths. So we're going to inhale. And then exhale from the bottom of abdomen, getting rid of all the stale around. So, one more. Bring the palms together. Bring them to your heart center. I have pick a prayer. Four. Protection. O oh my Lord, thou knowest that the people are encircled with pain and calamities and are environed with hardship and trouble. Every trial doth attack man and every dire adversity doth assail him like unto the assault of a serpent. There is no shelter and asylum for him except under the wing of their protection, preservation, guard, and custody. O thou, the merciful one, O my Lord, make thy protection my armor, thy preservation my shield, humbleness before the door of thy oneness and my God, and thy custody and defense my fortress and my abode. Preserve me from the suggestions of self and desire and guard me from every sickness, trial, difficulty, and ordeal. Verily, thou art the protector, the guardian, the preserver, the sufficer, and verily, thou art the merciful of the most merciful. Today, let's wish happy Ramadan to all the people who are fasting and the Muslims and a happy Rezwan to all the Baha'is all over the world. Namaste, have a wonderful time. Thank you so much for joining me. And we should always, and I'm always thankful to all those frontline everybody that is out there for us to work hard to get even injured so we stay safe so hang in there for a few more weeks don't give in don't go out take a deep breath in and out anytime that you feel like just you want to go out because you're bored stay home do something Call someone, call me. Would love to talk to you. Have a wonderful day and week until I see you Saturday, unless you're here on Tuesday for our chair yoga. Namaste. Love you all. All right. Love and Homera, Stacy, Karen, Shide. Let's see who else is here. Kristen, Rosita, Jill. Hello to all of you, Homera. I don't want to let go.
but I have to. <laughs> bye bye.